Good morning. I'm Peter Ku, Chair of the City Council's Committee on Parks and Recreation. Today, the committee will vote on proposed introduction 957A, sponsored by my colleague, Council Member Borelli. This bill would limit the number of replacement trees that are required by the Parks Department to be planted by individuals and entities who apply to lawfully remove trees during construction projects in certain lower density residential areas. Specifically, the bill will require that the number of caliper inches of replacement trees to be low greater than two inches, no, no, to, to be, I'm sorry, to be low greater than two times the number of caliper inches removed in R1, R2, and R3 zoning districts. I thank Council Member Povalli for introducing this bill, and will not, I will now invite him to offer any remarks on this legislation. After his remarks, I would like to invite the clerk to call the roll call. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Chairman Ku, and thank you for your partnership uh, on this issue specifically. Um, I want to be just clear about what this bill does and doesn't do. This bill still shows that New York City cares about preserving uh, its trees and its canopies. Uh, this bill disincentivizes tree removal by allowing tree restitution fees. This bill allows for tree restitution fees to grow based on the size uh, and number of trees you remove. So it doesn't really change uh, the goal of the initial local law that was passed over 15 years ago. We're here, though, because there are a group of unelected bureaucrats at the Parks Department who have refused to act reasonably on this issue. And throughout my time trying to negotiate this bill, they've never been able to explain to me why a bus operator or a teacher or a nurse or any other middle class family in my district or in some of the other low density districts around the city should pay upwards of $100,000 to remove a tree that they must remove in order to comply with other sections of zoning code uh, and the building code. We all agree we need sidewalks, right? Unfortunately, you can't have a tree and a sidewalk in the same spot no matter how hard we try. Um, the problem is that the Parks Department uses a formula that they say is an international standard, and it is, but it is not used by every city. If you look right across the river at Jersey City, they use a formula that we're trying to put into law now, where they actually look at the caliper number of trees and base your restitution based on that. The Parks Department's inefficiency and competence in delivering on tree restitution trees is also part of the problem here. We have a formula, but the multiplier of that formula is the cost to plant a three-inch tree. We've had hearings ad nauseum on this issue, and the Parks Department's fees have only gone up and up. Why does it cost $2,800 to plant a three-inch tree in New York City when it costs $500 to plant the same tree in Jersey City? So we have a system where we have acted unreasonably. So we're still protecting trees, we're still allowing for restitution fees, we're still protecting larger and the quantity of trees on properties, we're just taking away the Parks Department's ability to hold homeowners uh, a, with, with a sense of gunboat diplomacy uh, because they're threatening them with hundreds of thousands of dollars in tree restitutions. I just showed my colleague uh, Jim Gennaro here next to me uh, a case in point where we have one specific homeowner who has been tied up in legal discussions with the Parks Department since 2020 over whether or not the Parks has jurisdiction over a single tree. A family is renting a house waiting to close on their house they purchased last year only because the Parks Department refuses to even negotiate on a restitution fee. This is an example. If the restitution was $10,000, the family would be in the house by now. But the restitution's 10 times that and it's impossible. So thank you to my colleagues for supporting me on this bill. I understand that, that you know, some people might have objections to it and have concerns, but remember, it doesn't do the things that you think it does, uh, and it still allows for restitution and the preservation of our tree canopy. Thank you. Any members have any comments? Oh. 
want to say something about this bill? Seeing none, uh, so the clerk will take the uh, roll call. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on parks and recreation, proposed introduction 957A, Chair Ku. Abel, I. Moya. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Council member Cabrera votes aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Brennan. Aye. Holden. I vote aye. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Riley. I vote aye. Gennaro. I vote aye, and I wish to be associated with the remarks of Councilmember Borelli. Brooks Powers. I vote aye. Borelli. By a vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, the item has been adopted by the committee. We're going to keep the floor open for five minutes, ten minutes. Check one, two, three, four. This is a mi microphone check for captioning. Captioner, please write down what you hear from my guys to see. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is a caption test. That's what was, oh, come on, I, I, we could have closed. <laughs> Where are we going to go? Sorry, chair. No problem. Continuation.